It's an interesting conversation in terms of adaptation. Chloe looked at it like, okay, that's the book, that's a piece of journalism that explores the elderly of America and what happens to them, and in many cases find themselves in this sort of forgotten part of America, living in their vans. And we're going to go and explore these characters that popped up in the book. You can almost see them as like companion pieces. Hey, Bert. Hey, Linda. Come over and join us. No, I'm just going to take a little walk. Okay. Be back soon. When we approach Chloe's films, the main thing is just that those performances just feel as real and lived in as possible. And so you, you kind of work backwards from that. There's a few things that I've kind of learned in my short career. And really it's just forming like real human connections with the subjects. You know, and the challenge here was like, can we do this in a way that feels like we're inside their world and we're not just viewing it as outsiders, you know, with a long lens and a lot of wide angle. It was mostly like 16, 18, I love 32 for the close-ups. Chloe finds the Master Primes just a little bit too sharp and clinical. I showed her the Ultra Primes on them and I like the skin tones. I like the distortion a lot. It's a quality to that glass that just felt like you're not putting too much between the, the, the subject and the audience. They're, they're like somewhere between the master primes and the super speed. Lighting wise, I'm, we're gonna shoot predominantly low light and natural light, we knew that. So yeah, a lot of small LEDs, light mats, um, ribbons. There was one day where Joel Cohen visited the set and I look up and there's Joel Cohen watching me filming Fran with a little LED on a C stand. <laughs> I was like, we're really pulling out the stops here, Joel. I hope you appreciate this. This is it. This is my biggest lighting setup. <laughs> with, in terms of equipment, this one, I knew that we needed to be as nimble as ever, but also it needed to feel like a voyage through this place. It needed to feel like movement. We have a character on a sort of voyage of discovery. And so I really wanted the audience to feel like they're moving with her through these places. So what we did was we, we chose the Ronin 2 gimbal because it was small. And we have one Alexa Mini on the gimbal the whole time and another one just ready to run a gun and shoot. And it, it, just, it just made us really flexible to any, any situation really. I had such a fear of um, cameras and technology starting out. When I first arrived at NYU, I didn't know what an f-stop was. I want to tell like young cinematographers starting out who don't have that confidence, kind of don't worry because along the way you'll find people that will support you. So I just felt like everyone knew more than me and I, I, and I don't know what I'm doing. And then I'd meet people like you who'd be like, look, man, it's okay, we'll hook you up with a camera. And you've always let me know that I have what I need, you guys at Ari, and, and that's been really valuable. So thanks, man. <laughs>